What else we got? Okay, The Work. So this is a documentary set within the walls of Folsom State Prison, as in... As in Johnny Cash. As in, yeah, exactly. And it's a documentary which follows a group through a four-day group therapy event in which inmates and outsiders are brought together to confront their inner demons. So basically, a group of outsiders are brought in to share therapy with, they refer to as level four convicts. These are people who have done very, very bad things and um, they're serving long sentences. And one of them at the beginning actually describes one of his crimes. It's really quite hair-raising stuff. But the therapy is like group sessions in which what they're attempting to do is to dig down and get in touch with their emotions. Now, as far as the prisoners are concerned, the the big thing, many of whom are sort of very bulked up, very, you know, very sort of physically imposing characters. And we are told that they're all from these different gangs in the within the prison who have agreed to put aside their differences for these these therapy sessions. Um, and the gangs are often sort of divided on racial lines. One character is is um, an ex member of the Aryan Brotherhood, and you know, so there's all that stuff going on. But they put all that stuff aside because what they're trying to confront is the idea that when they're in prison, they're not allowed to show emotion, they're not allowed to show fear, they're not allowed to show sadness, they're not allowed to cry. And that part of the documentary is very interesting. What's slightly odder is the people from the outside who come in with their own agendas. So, for example, you have one character who's, you know, very, uh, one person who's, you know, very sort of open and gentle and clearly just has stuff that he wants to deal with. You have another person who's very, very judgmental and seems on the brink of anger and, you know, very says very clearly, I am judging all of you as this goes on. And another one who says, oh, I'm just, I've just been to these things before. I'm, I don't believe in all this crying nonsense. And what happens during the course of the documentary which is, you know, we see each one of them break down and cry. And it's to do with those, you know, moments in which, you know, get down, you know, get, reach inside, find that, that fundamental quality. And the themes that come up again and again are very, very similar to do with, things that happened in their childhood, to do with uh, anger with their fathers or the absence of their fathers, to do with uh, some slight, some perceived slight that they have had that has been eating away at them, somebody who, who's terrified of not being respected. People have been put down by particularly their dads in the past, which actually, oddly enough, makes it chime rather well this week with some of the themes of it. As I was saying that thing before about one of the most moving scenes in it is when you see the bully being bullied by his own father. Exactly how you respond to this will depend to some extent on how you feel about group therapy. The thing that's clearly true is that this therapy, as far as the prison is concerned, is something that is working. There are statistics at the end that say that, you know, th these these things have been very, very productive for for the inmates. And it is, as I said, this sort of constantly of it's a constant stream of people being brought to an emotional point, which is often uh, represents itself physically. I mean, they have to be restrained. They're shouting. They're screaming. They're they're, you know, really sort of resting with their inner emotions. The stranger thing is the outsiders and exactly what they're getting out of it and exactly what's been brought in for them. So it's uh, it's odd. It was at times it reminded me of, I mean, I don't say this like, but sometimes it reminded me of some of the men's group meetings that would happen in, in the 1980s at universities. At times it reminded me of instant enlightenment, including VAT. But it's it's very powerful, it's very raw, it's very visceral, and how you react to it will depend on how you respond to those kind of ideas of group therapy and getting down to that childhood anguish and expressing it.